Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm working on shooting multi-directional threats, starting with that one over there, which is behind me. So what I'm practicing is coming out, shooting the gun that way, that way, and then dealing with the threats that way. Now, uh, one of the things that you'll notice is this is set up so that the bullets will hit here and deflect that way. Okay, so that's why I have set that up the way I have set that up. So. Good exercise. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, so the key to this is when you come out of the holster, right, you point your finger at the target. The way you've been pointing your finger at stuff your whole life, uh, you come out, you point it at the target. That's the best way to get on the target, all right? Um, so point the finger at the target. you got a better chance of getting to the target by pointing uh, the finger at it. Excellent. So, uh, this is a Ruger SR22. Uh, I'm shooting 22s here. So, uh, we had a misfire there, which is fine. That's part of the exercise. You get a misfire. You do your tap, your rack, you keep shooting, okay? You don't let that stop you. That's that's good training. Let's do a tactical reload. Let's put another one in there. So the great thing about 22s um, is you can do this kind of stuff, right? Uh, you still have to be mindful of splashback. I mean, at that distance, I mean, it, the 22 really wouldn't hurt me if it splashed back at me, but I still have it angled, right? I'm positioning myself so that the bullet deflects into the dirt regardless. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm here, I'm starting off in this position. Good. All right, so uh, one of the things that I'm doing there is I'm obviously point shooting that, but then I have to go to my iron sights. That, that's a big part of this exercise. Right, uh, because you know it's very easy to go, let's say, from um, uh, from your from iron sights to point shooting. But what happens a lot of times when you start off point shooting, it's easy to forget that you got to get back to your iron sights, especially as the target gets further. So that's something that I drill into this exercise where I point shoot the first target and then go to iron sights because I need to. Because that's a bigger target, that's I don't know, something like uh uh 12 inches tall over there well the other target i'm shooting over there is only six inches and it's a little bit further so i have to get to my iron sights in order to hit that target otherwise there's no way i can hit it i can point shoot that one i cannot point shoot that one all right let's do this again Uh, I did a boo-boo there, right? Um, gun ran dry. I, I obviously, I remembered to reload it, but I forgot initially to move behind cover, right? Because they got a nice wall of dirt over there. Uh, it, it, I kind of remembered to move behind cover to do my reload after I had already started the process. Uh, it, something I've done like so many times, and yet I still forgot it. Uh, so if you don't practice these things, yeah, you're definitely going to forget it, okay? So so when the gun goes dry, get behind cover, then start your reload. Don't start trying to reload uh, out in the open over there. Let's see what we got left over here. We can go through this one more time. It's my last magazine I got with me. Uh, so same deal. We'll start up here. Reload. Okay. So fun exercise. Um, you know, 22s are great because it can uh, you can do a lot of shooting. You know, you buy these you know 300 round or 500 round bricks, 
and you know you can you can do lots of shooting you can shoot the targets fairly close um you know i mean i don't think i'd be that comfortable shooting that target that close even with a, with a nine millimeter even with the angle of deflection that i have factored into this where the bullet's deflecting uh, into the dirt i, I don't think i want to be that close uh to the nine millimeter because you might catch it on the edge of something right the nine millimeter could still you know catch it here in which case it would splatter in a different in a completely different pattern um so 22 is a really great for this type of training um and you know and i mean shooting is shooting you know doesn't matter you know I mean, the idea is get the bullets on the target uh especially with the point shooting if, if you missed just take another shot you know um so it's really great because you got the whole situational awareness going on where uh, I'm trying to figure out where the targets are. And the nice thing is that like some of the targets, like that guy right there, he can move. You know, I can move these targets around. Like I can take this guy over here. And I can easily move this guy over here. So now all of a sudden, this is, this is something different, right? Come out here. Nope, gun's empty. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, do I have another mag? Nope, I'm out. All right, so anyway, the point is that you can, I can move the targets around like that and, uh, and practice lots of different configurations. Especially, you know, I mean, you don't need to move all targets. You just need one target that you're moving around that you got to be hunting for. But I do, have, I do have another stand like that that I can also uh, move around. So great exercise, lots of fun. I'll talk to you all soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.